Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show you a little trick that is pretty obscure, but I think you might find it useful. So imagine we have elements on a page and some of the elements are hidden using, for example, display none or opacity zero. Can you select just the hidden elements? Or the opposite, can you select just the visible elements? There is a jQuery selector that we can use. We can say, get me all hidden elements, colon hidden. It's not the CSS selector, it's jQuery own selector. And then you can confirm, for example, that there are two of them. Let's see if these are correct. There are two of them. Now notice it highlights one of them. So in reality, opacity zero means the element is invisible, but it's there. It occupies space on a page, but Cypress considers that invisible because the user cannot see it. Yes, there's an empty spot, but it's not visible. I would actually suggest that you limit yourself to specific CSS selector plus colon hidden. And instead of finding all hidden elements everywhere on a page, you, for example, say, okay, I'm only interested in the hidden elements inside an element with ID people and only the ally hidden elements. So you make your selector precise and don't accidentally find something hidden somewhere else. The inverse is also true. In addition to hidden, there is visible. And in this case, it selects visible elements. Uh, be careful because if you just use the selector by itself, it can give you a lot of elements, including the parent elements. So in this case, notice it selects the list itself and then each ally element because the list is visible and ally elements are visible. Finally, if you get multiple elements, for example, you say, give me all the ally elements inside people element, you can apply side filter and then say visible or hidden and filter the elements like that. So four elements, filter to only visible and you have two of them. Find this recipe and lots more at my Cypress example site that I will link in the description of this video.